Welcome to your video on how to actually sign a PDF, which is one of those documents that send you at work or for legal purposes for you to sign. So I have a mock thing here. The Acrobat looks like that symbol. You can download it on get.adobe.com. So let's get on with the class now. So what we're going to do now is we need to go to somewhere up here called Tools. So in Tools, you're going to find the Get the Sign option. So we're going to click on Tools. Notice that there's an option here that says Fill and Sign. Fill and Sign. We're going to click that to open it. It says here Open. We wait a little bit. Can you see here it says Fill and Sign down here. We're going to click on that in order to actually undertake the process of signing. Can you notice I've got an A, B here. What I need to do is go down and find my box where it says print name. I'm going to click inside the box. I'm going to call it Will D. Okay, and then that's going to add my written part of my signature. And then I have the section where I need to sign. So what I need to do is go up here where it says sign. I'm going to click on that now. And then that's going to enable me to do several ways okay so if I click on sign so it says here add a signature if I hit plus it's going to give me a pop-up and I've got three options I can type it which there's no sense if you already typed it so you can actually draw it or insert it from an image I'm not going to insert it from an image but I will show you how you do it because I don't want to give my signature away on the internet and I'm not going to spend time making a fake one so the draw here option, which is like a little pen, allows you to use your mouse options and your keypad and your brush pad to actually draw a signature here. Once you hit apply here, it will apply the signature. Alternatively, if you've taken a photo of an image of your signature and you've stored it in your device, in your laptop or Chromebook, what you can do is you can click on that option here, image. That's going to pop up your um, your signature. I'm going to use this thing I got off the internet called it's a dotted font. So I'm going to do that. Tap that. Tap open. Takes that as my signature. There's an option here that says apply. So I'm going to hit apply. And once I hit apply, it's going to apply the signature. Can you see now it's a big signature so what I need to do can you see I can move it once I've moved it I can scale it can you see that little blue button on the bottom right hand side I can click on that little button to shrink that so it fits the box when it's supposed to go in and then I can move it again so I'm gonna click it just make it small enough to fit notice that when I go on the top it becomes like a cross with multiple arrows pointing away from the center I can actually drag and move that to the right place. I click away. Then there's an option up here top left that says save. I can go from here or from the file menu. But if you feel more comfortable, go to the file menu in order to activate the save option. So I'm going to go to file. And there's an option that says save. If you've got it already in a folder, in the same folder, you're just going to click it. Okay. Then you're going to get a pop-up that shows you the same file name. And what you want to do is you want to say save. Okay, you're going to have an option here that says save. You're going to click on save. Are you sure you want to replace this? Yes, because you want to embed the signature into your documents. You need to say yes. And then I'm going to close that document just to verify that's there. So you can have a look and we can finish this activity. And then I'm going to click here. Okay, once we locate the file in the folder that we saved it to, if we go down once we've opened it, we've verified now that we have the print, print the name and the sign part. And now what we can do is we can actually drag and drop this into our email provider. There's a signature here, the name, drag and drop into your email provider or just use the um, paper clip to attach to your document. So that's how you do it. That's how you sign a PDF document on your Chromebook or your laptop or your computer desktop. Thank you so much for listening.